All right, uh, let's go to uh, right now the Cuba's, I guess, the yeah. truth, oh, according boy. to Manny. Uh, Smooth Manny, what are we talking about today? Hey, good morning, Stephen. How are you doing? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, you, you tell, what are we talking about? So we're going to talk about the cube of Saturn. Okay. However, it's not really just about the cube of Saturn. Oh my God. Of course. Uh, it's about, it never is. It never it's, is. Nope. it's about Saturn itself okay. as an entity. Has because a, there's brain? many symbols, the cube being a current modern one that has okay. emerged. Yeah, all right. Well, you have my attention, not necessarily my interest. <laughs> all right, well, I, okay. <laughs> I feel like this is unfair considering that English isn't his first language and everything I'm about to hear is unsourced. I, I, love, I love how you're playing very skeptical. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a good act. It's an act. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, right, so explain to me what you mean. What right, is so the... before we start, I need okay. to set the scene. Okay. So you guys are, you know, you're talking about current events. Right. Let's, let's detach set for a scene. second and let's go back into the, hum like the essence of life we're going to talk about the occult, black magic. Ooh, let's just talk about it. Spirits. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So first, let's change our paradigm it. into our metaphysical reality. Where we are in time right now mm -hmm. is only very limited to our perception of it. There's actually an entire universe, a metaphysical universe. Yeah. God, angels, demons. This will be a time that I'll metaphysically want to forget. Yep. Sure. All right. So the first reference <laughs> that I'm bringing up is overlay number two, and mm -hmm. this is in, in Acts 7. Yes. Uh, I think it's uh, 43. So Stephen uh -huh. is uh, talking to a current sect of Jews, and he's reminding them that, you know, back in the day when they were wandering the desert, they took up the tent of Moloch, and the star got Riffin, or Riffan. I don't know how okay. you say it in English. Riffin. So this is yeah. actually a Saturnist entity. Okay. And ah. uh, yeah, so it's funny because Moloch is also a Saturnist entity. The owl? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, well, it's. It, there's different symbols of it, but yes. Okay. The well, which one's the right one? I've seen it represented by as, a, as an owl. The owl is definitely one, especially yeah. the night owl. Or Bob Hope dressed up like a lady in Bohemian Grove. Ooh, that too. Why, yeah. why did God create Moloch? Are you asking me to try to understand the word of God as if oh. he did it? I have no idea. Well, <laughs> so I, think, I think you have to accept it that Moloch is another sort of demonic entity. Like it is definitely the devil. a demonic entity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. so or something. Yeah. Saturnist Man created means. him. So Saturn. Yeah. So, they yeah, created okay. images of him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, so, the problem so, of evil. And going, I want to be really back, clear. Yeah. You're not saying this is a Jewish thing. You're talking about at that point in no, time no, no, Steve, no. Oh, Stephen was talking to. You have to be really careful because the Jews and Christians are very close. I would be very careful because the problem with these is that there there is like a little bit of truth and people are retarded. I would and like so to, I they'll would like read that and then truth, you please. will definitely find uh, you'll definitely find people be like, oh, you see, it's the Jews. And it's like, all right, well, now you guys just ruined everything. Right. So, Rafan, uh, you know, Saturnist entity. Okay. If we go to overlay number okay. three in Phoenicia and in Carthage. I know Baal. Okay, yeah, I've heard, ba I've Baal heard is Baal. also Baal in the Bible. Side, heard of that. a different place of Northern Africa, Mediterranean, so different regions, but they're referring to the same Saturnist god. Okay. And what defines the worship of Baal and Moloch is human sacrifice. Child sacrifice. In particular, child sacrifice. Yes. Now, do you mean, let me ask you this, do you mean that these people are knowingly like, oh, I'm gonna go sacrifice a baby to, uh, yes. to, yes. to Baal today? 100%. Or are you talking about people? Because a lot of people who, you know, and this is true, the devil doesn't usually show up in a creaky coffin. Yep. Uh, often it's sort of self-idolatry where like abortion, I've said, is sort of sacrifice at the altar of self. But you mean these people are identifying yeah. proactively Baal and you know Saturnist gods and saying that's the one I'm siding with. Not only these people, Let's do but it. also in current times. With Baal, they would actually heat up the statue's hands to where they were red hot, and then place the baby in it, and that's mm. how they would sacrifice. So these are really nice. good people, like great. Strong and some people don't people. support the death penalty. Nope. Go ahead. So, oh man, Derek? do you see that smile for <laughs> Gerald? Yeah, was, I hope you feel good about what you just did, Gerald. All right, go ahead. Well, I'm really, I'm really glad Garrett brought it up because our next slide is actually Kronos and ah, also the Romans and the festival his children of right Saturn. There. Saturn. 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 Saturnalia. Is Kronos real? Well, the worship of him was real. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. So, right. again, was Moloch real? Moloch. The worship of Moloch is of definitely Moloch. real. Okay. Right. The but, entity but not, itself. Wait. I think what he's saying is that any of these could just be evil demonic entities that people have labeled with a name and just chosen to worship. But and for some reason, okay. it's Saturn. But I guess part of my gotcha. question is, okay. is, is you, what you're saying is that they, that Moloch and Kronos are actual real entities or? Since, since we are talking about a metaphysical reality, I think it's curious that throughout time, 
from you know we're talking about Mesopotamian gods yes refined no? and till now to days people are still worshiping this particular Saturnist god and all of a sudden they just start killing people as human sacrifice for that specific entity mm, right. it's curious it's a pattern it's called a non-claim yeah <laughs> But I'm interested. <laughs> Still. Well, he's just laying the facts out. All right, all right. You make the decision. Your curiosity has served you well, my friend. So if, if we no, uh, go a, you know, a couple hundred thousand years ahead, mm, uh, the Aztecs thousand. weren't always mass murderers. But, you know, clearly <laughs> uh, human <laughs> oh, sacrifice. Oh, By the way, it's just not a couple hundred thousand years between the Jews and the, the Aztecs. I said it's thousand. You said hundreds. I mean, we go back to the I record. said hundreds and, well, whatever. But, hundreds know. and thousands. Yeah. He's correcting the record. He is. I'm giving uh, him that opportunity. very important in this language, instance. It's, okay. it's you, important. Are, to are be you, right you, on the facts in this segment. Are you <laughs> telling me biblical <laughs> time wasn't in the 1200s? What's going on? Oh, here? No, I, I, let's not get him sidetracked. I'm sorry, I'm He's sorry. busy talking I about Kronos. I the Aztecs weren't <laughs> always tier. mass murderers. Yeah. But they did become, towards the end of their empire, when they started worship, worshiping Tezcatlipoca. Tezcatlipoca. Mm. Yeah, Tezcatlipoca. And that's the it's next overlay. Tezcatlipoca is a Saturnist entity. Oh. And he demanded a lot of blood. Oh. So it wasn't even like the Romans or the Greeks where they worship this sort of god or even Moloch and Baal where they right. would do the ceremonies and they would you know, sacrifice people, but it was more ritual. It was like, hey, it's the end of the year. We gotta like, you know, kill a few people. Kill a couple people, people like you know. taxes, depending <laughs> yeah, on the quarter. You know, it's, it's the best survivor no. ever. No, well, with the Aztecs, it was like, well, we're just gonna be murdering people all the time. Oh. So, mm. on the day. now that we like get, so we, we've established our, our timeline of human sacrifice right. and Saturnist entities that appear in Empire's Cube. So it's not really a cube. To understand the cube, you need to understand the hexagon. So, and the reason why it's a hexagon is because hex. in Saturn, hex. there is a hexagonal giant storm bigger than Earth. It is, for some whatever reason, it's the shape of a hexagon. Okay. Now, the hexagon... Has this been confirmed by, like, yeah. uh, NASA stuff? Dave, you go to my uh, wonderful overlay that I... That okay, even just let me see up. that. Let me see that. That's taken right, from right, 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 right. NASA.gov, unless you think the moon landing was fake. I do not think <laughs> you're going to go there. Hey, listen. You don't do have you to think trust. the moon landing was fake? No, I don't. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. So you Good. believe in NASA? I, I certainly believe in NASA, yes. And he believes <laughs> the Earth is round, and you know he just also thinks yeah. that Kronos uh, wants to clear your kid. I believe Saturn is an entity. I don't think I am retarded. So. <laughs> <laughs> but well, do you I, I don't understand. Do how did they all normally? pick Saturn before enough. they had telescopes? But I have I, a and it's a genuine question. Like I know they would say the stars. I have a theory. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a long theory. We'll talk about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> talk about it. So so get us the there. hexagon is actually a two-dimensional representation of the cube. Uh, to draw a okay. cube. So you guys right. are thinking yeah. two-dimensionally. That's yeah. right. You guys, oh, you know, I'm, y'all got to think outside We're talking of the cube. about 4D chess over here. Oh, good. The cube say, is yeah. literally created from a hexagon. Mm-hmm. So the, that is why it's emerging nowadays. Because back in the day, you, see the, you do see the color, the symbols of Saturn. The black, the mm-hmm. black monoliths. Uh, but well, you don't necessarily see the cube. Uh, why is black and a black monolith Saturn? The color black is of Saturn. Why? Because it's an evil entity. It's a, who decides? It's a Luciferian. Why? Human history uh, and human cultures. They said they said Saturn before well, telescopes and black. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they right. worship Saturn. Right. And if you go to that overlay, that uh, black obelisk that is an Indian god, who, yeah, it's just a black stone oh, like and that aztec knife that's yeah. obsidian yeah. which is a black volcanic rock and that's how they would uh very nicely commit mass genocide well, there's a cigar called obsidian it's not great it's true there's a wine too. <laughs> it's, not, it's not great so the cube and the obelisk, black Nikes they they definitely appear in uh <laughs> modern times in very peculiar places i would say places of worship so we have uh freemason altars we have the un meditation slash prayer room and of course, our favorite uh, course. Mecca, where uh, everybody just gathers around these black altars and uh, does whatever mm. worship. They're not they being do. trampled yeah, like it's the running trampling. of the terrorists. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a, human sacrifice. Yeah. Human sacrifice. It's but, amazing uh, how many people die every year at yeah. Mecca. Yeah, it is unlike any other holy pilgrimage. Maybe, maybe not this year, unless it's of coronavirus. Yeah. Oh, you know oh, what? That's, that's the thing. There are silver linings everywhere. <laughs> and uh, so now here, here's where. Like Bill and I will agree, like people go crazy here, and then yeah. every like yes. everything becomes a thing. But in pop culture, there are black cubes that appear 
on sci-fi movies, what? on music videos, and in particular, in uh, in where, when when the theme is aliens or another entity coming and visiting Earth. So, for example, well, actually, uh, before I start, so in, in Lady Gaga, Born This Way, mm -hmm. the, if you haven't seen that music video, by the way, I let's watch it. I uh, suggest you do. <laughs> right now, no, one thing to note about it is that. It, it's become the uh, official LGBT anthem, yeah. ah. which is kind of gay. You know who's most pissed about <laughs> that? But, <laughs> but more importantly... <laughs> I've been... Okay. I mean, it sounds right. redundant, who, who but okay. The anthem is, is, is gay. Gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate A little it. gay. Quote him right. You know, you're too close to the forest to see the trees, Bill. You're too busy trying to make this expanded, complicated, convoluted legal yeah. argument. Uh, Sometimes simple. it requires, if I'm on a jury, I want a man to say, the gay song is kind of gay. I go, That's you know what? True. He speaks a language He's that I right. can understand. <laughs> you yeah. know I don't climb trees. I'm He's a panda. That's like me. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, so yeah, so, so if we go back to our pop culture uh, overlay of Lady Gaga. Uh, so yes. she's born out of this black cube and she creates uh, this like new race that's better for the world. In uh, Warcraft, there's this being that's trapped in this cube, and they like they are the cube itself. It's okay. Are the weird. creators of the games worshippers of the cube Saturn? I don't think so. Why are they doing it then? I'm not sure, and I think that's where you could argue that there is a when you look at the historical yeah. cultures that have worshipped this god, and there's what they did. I th I think it's not crazy to imagine that the entity itself has a consciousness. Like evil ah. itself exists and it can manifest. So is it is it okay. people's fault or is it what did Saturn, did Saturn do anything wrong to get all mixed up in this or is just people doing no. this? No, he's he's clearly like a different. No, I'm talking about dimensional the planet demon. Saturn. You believe that planet is an interdimensional demon? The planet Saturn? I'm not saying I believe <laughs> the planet itself. <laughs> I'm saying people believe it. But as I'm saying, are you saying that people just ascribed it to Saturn, or are you saying there's something wrong with Saturn? Because you know, for example, like I could start, you know, worshiping this pipe rack and sacrificing, and it's just a pipe rack. Saturn is. Are we saying that it's just a planet, and for some reason people have chosen it as a symbol, or I, do we think Saturn is something well, Sa specific? Saturn, the planet, is named after the god. Right. Right. But then he was showing so the hexagon on the planet yeah. Saturn. Yeah, which sure. they worship. It's it's on a Star Trek episode. I, okay. it, that, I think if you <laughs> that's the board. If you had a pipe board, the of that. if you had a pipe board that made yes. you murder people, that'd yeah. be you're crazy. But if people throughout history still worshiping that same pipe board, there might be something weird with that. So there might be shut the hell weird. up with your red rum bullshit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Always. But some symbols are really blatant, and the first time I the first time I noticed this was actually at one of these raves. Mm. So. What do you call church? What were you doing there, man? This is a different What entity segment. were you Invest serving? Uh, well, Investigative well, that, well, that's journalism. actually what I noticed. Uh, what do you call a church before the service starts? What do you do before? There's when, a, there's when they're playing music. Like like don't worship? worship? Oh. What's that called? Praise worship? and worship? Worship why? Because you're there. There's the music element. Right. You're right. singing. You're, okay. You're so if worshiping. We go, if we go to our why. next slide, this is Dead Mouse. And it was at this hmm. rave that I noticed this. All right, that's pretty weird. Saturn. Oh, yeah. Saturn. Saturn. Like, T -R -N. Come on. Like, the guy's stage is literally a black cube. And that's all people, people are just there sending their energy but to it. But can you just it. be doing it like Pantera and those guys? Sure. Like, yeah. Sure. Ah, Satan. Yeah, why not? not it's like a market Metallica. Game. Sure. Now, before but, but that would be admitting that there is some kind of right. pattern of uh, Saturn being associated with Yeah, like with trolling the people. Cube. Could like, be. Like TVs, However, man. <laughs> When the trolling becomes human sacrifice, that's when things get really weird. That's Have there so, been people sacrificed at Dead Mouse concerts? Well, in, in order to wrap this segment, I do need to introduce Please. a new symbol of Saturn. No, and this is oh. called the Seal of Saturn. Mm. Now, we can't get into magic squares oh, no. and all that nonsense, but the Seal of Saturn is that hexagonal shape. With a line. And if you go to Mexico and the ritualistic killings that cartels are doing nowadays... Uh, our next overlay has so look this is a satanic altars mm. there's so even from the fbi boards there's so many ritualistic behaviors that there is a spiritual force happening here it's not even I just i believe that yeah turf yes. wars it's serious evil yes. it's yeah. it is serious evil so pablo, pablo this, escobar just wanted a little more nuisance money oh, yeah, yeah, look at the not? cartels they're just uh, yeah. they're in there for the sport of it so hey, this is a cartel altar and what you will oh, notice yeah, the is here. the so they found a bunch of bones, drugs, etc., and that is the seal of Saturn on the forehead of that Baphomet mural, yeah, it's where they bad. had their you know human bones and stuff. Right. Yeah. So here we have symbols of Saturn appearing in modern times, modern culture, modern drug and uh, ritualistic killings, right. but also with a history set thousands of years before. Mm. So is the entity of Saturn a thing? 
people make it a thing. That's, right. so it could be like your pipe example. It doesn't matter if it's not real. Well, these people are actually they killing people real. for this entity. So that right. makes it real. So it's kind of irrelevant whether or not you think the planet Saturn is alive or not. They think it's or real. Or how they much make do you think real. maybe the drug cartels just did that like to throw people off the scent? Probably like, so. Like, you know, you think I know this was a drug killing? I don't know. Toss a couple of seals of Saturn on there. What the hell's the difference? <laughs> They'll just think it was done in some ritualistic well, well, cult, uh, you know? sacrifice. We'll just get Seems 44 like humid skulls like for fun and just, 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 to, just to throw Maybe they were taking out competition and then they're like, ah, throw in some cubes of Saturn. I think some Colombians need a segment. Right. But when you attach that to the history of Mexico with the Aztecs. Yeah. And, like, that's what I'm saying. There's too many threads of human killing and worship of this entity alone. Well, I don't know about the cube of Saturn and if Dead Mouse and these people are in on it, but I will say that anytime you sort of get to pantheism, um, really, it's almost always diametrically opposed to the Bible, to the Word of God. You yes. see that even with Native Americans, you see it with Mayans, you see it with Aztecs. I'm not super familiar with the Incans, but I don't like them. Um, <laughs> no. I, I, I really, decided. So before, before I find a point, I would like to point well, out that point. Steve, oh. Stephen has been very uh, skeptical, let's say, about this. Reasonably sure. so. And, uh, with, yeah, reasonably so, but it's I a good know, act. I don't know, man, I'm in there. And I would, I would certainly say that <laughs> Stephen knows more about this than he's letting what? on I, this which is, oh. brings me to my time. conclusive footage oh no i have an uh -oh. exclusive and this is my last oh, point on the cube of saturn. saturn oh boy hey guys whistleblower 22 here i noticed this on steven's instagram Wow, that was a very wow. short yeah. whistleblower. Is that your final point? <laughs> My final point is it seems you know more about this. Uh, yeah, it's a little oh, weird. Okay, wow. that has been the truth according to Smooth Thanks Manny, everybody. Thank you, Manny. Thank you.